Hi all, I am Gaurav. Welcome to Introduction to Scala. I am starting this series with an intent of sharing my Scala knowledge. Hi and welcome to this discussion of lists in Scala. Lists are the most widely used Scala collection. Lists in Scala have many important higher order methods. In this video, we will look at some of these higher order functions. But first, let's start with some of the basics about list. By default, lists in Scala are immutable. Immutable lists are of fixed length. The elements inside the list cannot be changed once the list has been created. You should know that there are both mutable and immutable version of lists. However, by default and almost invariably, it's the immutable version that we will, that we will be using. Scala lists are, in are implemented as singly linked lists and usually lists in Scala are terminated with a value called nil. Nil is a special value. It is technically an instance of lists. You can think of nil as an empty list. We'll explore how to use nil when we will try to create the lists. Now that we are done with some basics, let us explore different ways of creating lists. So we will talk about the use of colon operators while creating the list, use of list apply function. We can also create list by merging two lists. Um, we can use triple colon operator or plus plus operator. We'll see these. Uh, we'll see the use of these operators in our demo, and then we will try to create an empty list as well because that's a special case. So let's see, let us see list in action. Again, I'm going to use Scala Interactive Shell or REPL to demo lists. Let's start with the first method of creating a list. This is using the cons operator. That's the double colon operator and the special value nil. The cons operator is a right associative operator, meaning that it takes the list which is on its right and it adds on the value that's on the left. As you can see, the cons operator is called with the empty list nil on the right and then the value of June on the left. The return value is one element list containing the string June. Then in turn, it is passed into another cons operator which adds on May and so on until the entire list has been constructed. Notice how again Scala type inference has detected the type of list. This is a cumbersome way of creating a list. A more elegant way to create a list is to use list apply method. The list class has a special method known as apply method. Apply method is called by calling the class name itself. Here we have called apply method by calling list itself. A bunch of elements are passed into the apply method and apply method returns a list of these elements. Here. I have passed the names of last six months of the year and Scala has given me another list. Now let us try to combine the above two lists to get the months all across the year. There are two ways of merging these two lists. The first way is using the triple colon operator. The triple colon operator is list specific and is right associative as we have seen earlier with the colon with the con operator. And the second operator is double plus operator. Double plus operator also takes two lists and gives back a concatenated list with the elements of both of those lists. The double plus operator is not list specific. This means that it can be used with all collections and not only lists. There are two. Now let us see how we can create an empty list. There are two ways of creating an empty list. Either you can use a special value nil or you can use empty list apply method. Moving on, let us examine few of the most common operations on Scala's Scala list. You can use dot size to get the number of elements in the list. Next one is dot head method, which will return you the first element of the list dot tail method will return you rest of the list. Here is a pictog 
pectoral representation of head and tail in the list. Head and tail are widely used when we use recursion on the list. We will learn how to do recursion on the list in future videos. Another most common operation is to iterate through all elements of the list. Either you can use Scala for operation to iterate through all the elements of the list. We have already seen the operation in our previous videos. We are going to use the same syntax here as well. Or the second way is to use for each loop. I will declare a new list to demo for each loop. List has a very handy range method that can create you a list for a specified range. If we want to declare a list of elements from 1 to 10, we need to call the list.range 1, 11. As you can see that it, it excludes the last range on list.range method. And the range method has done its job. For each method, takes a function as input and applies to all elements of the list. It is important to mention here that return type of for each is unit. Let us try to sum all elements in a list. I will declare a variable sum and loop through all elements in the list to add to sum. And now we can print the sum. We can also use for each operator to print all elements in our list. Another common ask is to perform the same operation on all elements in the list. We can use list map. For example, if we want to multiply each element with two in the list, similar to for each loop, map also takes function as input and apply it to all elements in the list. Here, we will mul multiply each element with two and you can observe the resulting list. Here is another example. We have this year list again, and I want only three characters of each month in my new list. I'm going to use map again to trim all the strings uh, in the year list. Now let us try to combine our lists with tuple that we have learned in our previous video. Consider a situation where I need a list of months along with their abbreviation. This can be accomplished by calling the zip method on this list. The method name is quite clear and descriptive itself. It zips the two lists and the result is a list of tuple with both month and its abbreviation. Now, the last two methods that we are going to discuss are, sort, are sorted and reverse. As the name suggests, sorted method can be used to sort a list. I'm going to declare a new integer list with some random numbers, and then I will call sorted method on this new list. As you can observe, the method will sort the list in natural order. And if I call reverse, it would reverse the list. There are many more higher order functions in the list that you can use. I would encourage you guys to keep exploring and keep playing around. I hope that you have enjoyed Scala List. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Please post your comments and suggestions.